here. Awesome. So it was a starter one, I think it was. Man, now it's now it's seventy. Actually, is it seventy nine? Well, that was. Oh, that's building. That's, that's the annual. Gotcha. Yeah, just I go with the monthly. Monthly one. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Just get get started here. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, not pay today. No, I wanted to go. Where's the trial thing here? Do do do. <laughs> Let me um yeah, perfect. Okay, let's try that again. Start let's trial. Start trial, there we go. Perfect. Do, 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 okay, perfect. Do. That's a little better. There you go. Right. Uh, take all this fun stuff in here. And you can actually um stop sharing because I think you're gonna have to put in a card for the one dollar. Gotcha. All right, I'm just Okay, perfect. So here you wanna you wanna put yeah, I guess you could you could put your business name right there. Or you could put your name, but I'd probably I'd probably go with your business name. Yeah, I would too. However, it might be it might be too long, but let's let's try it. Yep. Yeah. Um, Run into that. That'd be great. You could do that. <clears throat> Should work there. Passwords. Ding ding. Okay, so access your card to your account. One thing, scroll down real quick. One thing I want you to do um, before you click on that one is scroll down this one. Register for the for the Q and A because that's going to come in handy. Um, if you can't make it live, they they send you the replay. Mm -hmm. So that's a one hour just Q and A call. The cartridge support team they go live, screen share just like this, and and you can just show up and ask any random question, and they'll walk you through it that's a really cool. cool support you're gonna always have me like we can always you and i are always gonna be able to jump on a call um however you can always jump on that as well tuesdays and thursdays and you'll learn gotcha. a ton i should register for that right now yeah go ahead and register for that now all right let's see I'll click down here yeah there you go there it goes. Okay. Checking availability. Select date. Uh, do, 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 do. Thursday. Usually I'm working at that time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could you could just as long as you register, they'll send you the replay. So just gotcha. try to watch the replays when you can. You'll yeah. learn you'll learn a ton. All right, uh, so that's actually Arizona time, huh? Actually, convert to another. Click oh, the blue. Yeah, That's what we want to do. That might go. actually work here. Perfect. Oh, at three o'clock. That's just fine then, because I'm home at that oh, time. Oh, good, so. good. Oh, uh, let's say Tuesday or Thursday. We'll do, we'll do Thursday. I selected my times and Central Time Zone. My first name, David. Perfect. And then um, head back over to the to the web to the welcome one. Yeah, there you go. And then yeah. scroll down. And um, actually, you're rarely on Facebook, right? Or are you? Are you on? I am. I'm on Facebook quite often. Okay, perfect. Yeah, join the group then. Go ahead and join that. And there, that's a group of over twenty thousand you know, people just like us trying to capture mm -hmm. leads using Kartra. So jumping into that group here and there is always, always good as well. You can sure. always ask a question and, you know, people will, will re reply with an answer. Yes. Sure. I'll be kind. I, I guess. <laughs> kind, maybe. Oh, no hate speech. Come on. Yeah. Fun in that. All right. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <sighs> cool. So, now we'll go back over to the welcome tab and then let's just jump into 
let's jump into the actual account. You can, um, yeah, scroll up. There you go. Just, um, actually, yeah, you could check your email real quick because I think they sent you the password. Unless you set up, a, did you did you set up a password? When you yeah. Were in Cartra. That's the Cartra community call. So. Okay, so just go ahead. And, Go ahead and just access your account. Click on that I one. Should be able to just do this here. I'm guessing. And it's already there. That's good. Click. Perfect. Yeah. A funny story. There is a. Uh, uh, I guess I agree to all that. I guess probably. Okay. Yeah. That there is when I first was uh, getting my business name and website set up. I typed in Humble Home Inspection and GoDaddy, and I was able to get that website just fine. It's like, all right, sweet. And then I got the LLC for Wisconsin, and I typed in Humble Home Inspection LLC. I got that just fine. And then I, that was probably a little bit later, that I, I found out there was another business called The Humble Home Inspector. No way. And he's in Milwaukee. I'm in Waukesha, so I'm, we're only you know, 30 minutes apart. Oh, wow. But uh, he didn't, he wasn't very happy with me for a little while. Oh man! He actually had a uh, an attorney uh, write me an email saying I should cease and des and desist. No because, way! Because it was like a trademark infringement. So I was like, "What well, trademark? What the heck are you talking about?" So I looked on in Wisconsin. There is a you can for I think it's a fifteen dollar fee. You can trademark your name. <laughs> And that's what he did. And he thought it was a trademark infringement. So I was like, well, I'm just going to go trademark mine quickly just to see what happens. And that went through too. That was accepted. So I haven't heard anything from since. And that was like in April or something like that. But I was like, oh, I was, I was all out of sorts thinking I was going to have to change my name or yeah, or I was, I was going to get yeah. sued or something like that. And But I think that all kind of died down and hopefully he's, you know, I guess okay with it now. I, mean, I don't care if he has a similar name to me. And we're both, uh, I mean, we're both home inspectors in the area, which is kind of yeah. weird. We have a, it's a similar name, but it's different enough, mm -hmm. I guess. So, right. But but yeah. as you as you kind of just play around with it and jump in, there's really only a few things that you'll ever really need. Um, just like pertaining to the left hand side. So in your case, you'll be, you'll be focused on my communications, which is your email autoresponder mm -hmm. and, and your list. So as people go and download your inspection guide, they'll be landing on a list and that's uh, manageable through, through my communications. And then the other tab you'll be using um, often is my pages. That's all the different, you know, landing pages that we'll be able to, to, to create. But mm -hmm. the cool thing about Kartra is there's so many of them that are already done for you. Like that's the cool part is that there's so many templates. Yep. So it's not like you have to create a website from scratch. There's templates. That's like, nice. <laughs> go off the template and, and, and you'll create something awesome. Um, and then my forms, the form is the actual, just like when you, um, um, set up your 14 day trial, you entered your information, that's a form. So mm -hmm. there's a, there's a form on every landing page. Whenever you go to any landing page, you know, you'll, you'll enter your name and email. That's a form. So that's my forms right there to the left. And then my videos, if you ever put videos on any pages, like not videos for your ads, but videos on a page, then you mm -hmm. can you can upload the video to Kartra, and then you can tie that video to a page. Um, I use I use videos on pages for emails. So if I if I send out an email and if it's a video, um, I'll I'll either use my YouTube video to put it on a page on a Kartra page, or I'll just ho upload that video to Kartra under my videos, and then just access it from from inside of Kartra. But um, that's for videos, and then and then my calendar. That's pretty much it. Like that's those are the only ones that you'll really pay attention to. My products, you don't need that. That's all for like digital products. If you're selling, you know, courses or or book mm -hmm. or ebooks, things of that nature. Gotcha. So it's really just my communications, my pages, my forms, um, my videos, and my calendars. Okay. So what we'll spend time on today is is making sure that our pixel is on these pages. So that's the most most important. 
Um, let's click on my pages to the left. And then we'll click on um, the green one. Let's click on the green. that green page. That thing there you go. go. Yeah. So as we come into here, um, you'll click on that, and you'll have all these different options on the left. Now you can you could you could choose any of them and and create something. But it's really in 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 your case, it's really just as simple as a two page website. That's all we're we're gonna need really is the landing page and the thank you page. So in that case, you can go with, um, you can go with squeeze pages. And inside of squeeze pages, we'll find a bunch of different templates that we can kind of just um, create, create, you know, around. So it's kind of, and all the colors, all the text, the images, all that stuff. Uh, modifiable. We're going to, yeah, we're going to be able to change all of that stuff. So it's really just kind of and you can click on it and it'll open it up even more so if you preview actually if you preview hit hit Oops. um yeah so that's the actual yeah there you go so the color all that stuff we can change all that stuff but it's really just a template the layout um and so that's that's kind of more of a full full more more of a full web page um in your case you just need something simple like you need something yep. um like maybe 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 like that one. Like for example, click the preview on that one. They come here. Um, maybe they read a few reviews below. Maybe you put an image below, and then at the top, you know, there's their name and number. Then they click the orange button to download the the inspection guide. But again, this is all going to be personal preference. Like whatever layout you know works best for you. And then and then at the same time, we can delete everything. So you can, if you just wanted the top part of that page, we can we can delete everything below it. And then work off of just that top part. Um, in fact, that's that's as basic, that's as simple and as and and as basic and as as effective as you kind of want a landing page. Just that mm -hmm. top part. Yep. But all this bottom part is, I mean, it's cool, but it's really that that top where that cliff, right where that yep. image ends. Like it's really just that part that you need as far as a landing page. But then there's other examples as well. So yeah, I like simple. Yeah, simple. Let's see if we can find something. But at the same time, we're going to be able to delete everything, so we can make it as simple as we want. Oh, we got um, a cute girl. Look at this. Even that one right there, right? Yeah. See, that's that's that's, not too bad. That, that's simple and powerful, right there. That's a that's a really simple one right there. Um, what that language is that? that? Well, French? that's just that's just, no, that's just the just the template. So that's just the that's where you'll put your text. Yep. So we'll go in and edit and write whatever you want to write. I'm trying to figure out what language that was. <laughs> well, I don't even think it's a language. It might not be. Kind of looks like French. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I don't even think it's a language actually. No, I guess not. Everyone else has yeah, that one's got to, that one's got real language up there. But this is all whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. All right. Yeah, a nice simple design will be the best, I would think. Oh, you still there? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one's simple too. Mhm. Mm cool, cool, cool. Preview. Yeah. yeah see, so part. just the top part, we can use just the top part if we want. We can delete everything else. Yep. Nice. So you want me to choose one of these things? Yeah. All right. What's well, a good one? And then there's 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 um, I mean there's all kinds to the left. You know, video sales pages, thank you pages. We can it it. I mean, we can really choose whichever and then just build around it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you got. Like even for your actual web page, because or or your website, the one that you currently have, yep. like if you if you scroll to the bottom, to the left, you have um, personal branding. Mm -hmm. Like I could easily help you like duplicate your existing website, and you can create it all inside of here. Watch, click on personal branding. There's a bunch of templates um, under that, but this is more for like a website. Like if you want to mm -hmm. build like 
multiple pages. What we want to focus on is is a landing page, just just one web page. But yep. in here, there's different templates that can that would actually you know be good for a full blown website. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, probably just need a simple landing page, I would think. Yeah, so squeeze pages. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the girl over here. She looked fun. Yeah, perfect. So let's work with this one. Yeah, right, so got a and what we'll do is we'll hit the red X, hit that one, and then let's click on select. Yeah, where'd she so go? We'll scroll down to it. There she is. Hit select, and then back up to the top. And then um, you'll launch. launch, hit the green button. Okay, perfect. So we're going to give it a page name. So call this one, you know, your opt-in page, your landing page, your, your, um, yeah, landing page. And then, and then the category, we'll start putting everything in categories. So just go ahead and um, click on, click on, um, click out of that. And you'll see manage, yeah, manage oh, yep. category. Yeah, click on that. And let's just create a category. Like this, this is going to be under your, you know, your inspection guide or um, however you can remember it. Inspection. That'll work. Perfect. Inspection guide. Perfect. And then hit done. Okay, cool. So now we'll hit the drop down, find that one and throw it in that one. Perfect. And then um, the site, you can just hit the drop down, select site, and you can go no site in particular. Perfect. And then create. Okay, cool. So now, now we're in the actual builder. So this stuff is super simple, man. Obviously, you'll you'll you know take it'll take a little bit of time to get used to, but it's it's very simple once you get the hang of it. It's really just a lot of it is dra is drag and drop. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find different like components to the left and then you could just drag it. So hit start tutorial and then you can just kind of go through this part, but um, I'm going to just give you a crash course on all this. Yep. So it's just showing you right here, everything to the left. So gotcha. as, you, as we go in, you'll have a menu bar to the left and that's where everything is at. So just next. Look. Keeps moving. Down we go. And next. One more. All right, let's get started. Okay, cool. So here is the actual builder. So the first thing, a good habit to get into is right when you come into a new page, the first thing I click on is settings to the left. So just like you, you named the page as you set it up, mm -hmm. click on SEO parameters. What this is, by default, it brings it over to the title as well. The title is the tab. So just like you have all those tabs open um, at the top, yep. that's the title. So when you go and show it and people open up that page, the general public is going to see the title of that tab, and I don't want it to say landing page. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so you named it internally landing page but yep. now for the title of the tab let's name it something you know a little bit more appealing maybe maybe um make is this is going to be your your free download so maybe i don't know download now or free download or um you can even just give it the title of your of your company um that would work as well but Anything like, yeah, you could, you could totally just leave it at that. Now, one thing you'll want to do also is um, you want to, you want to add an image because this right here, this landing page is mm -hmm. pretty much the only page that you'll ever share on social media. If you do share it, or even if other people want to share your page, because that's how they can download theirs. You know, so I always tell people to share it. I'll send it over to my friends, have them share it, you know, just because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's my landing page. So when people do share it on social media, especially Facebook, there's an image that pulls. So as you go and post a link on Facebook, there's an image that pulls. If you, if you share any link, if you share ESPN.com, 
there's going to be an image that pulls yeah. and, and that's the post. So here it's the same thing. You'll want to add an image. So go ahead and click on that blue button below image selected. Yeah. Click on that. And then, um, if you have an image on your computer, that would probably be cool. Um, That'd if you don't, you can type, you can search, you know, a keyword there and it'll pull a ton of different images. So be in the place of uh, the girl over here, there'd be different. No, thing. no, this is actually if if someone shares it on social media. So okay. if someone shares it on social media, this is just a gen a general image that they'll see um, as a post. Mm -hmm. Like, watch. Go to your go to Facebook real quick. Go to your newsfeed, and just um, and just scroll down, scroll down. Let me see if I can find an example. Scroll down. Come on, computer. I go. Let's see if anybody shared a, an actual oh, link. link. Okay, perfect. This is a perfect example right here. Okay, okay, yeah, perfect. Link, yeah. So that's the image. So this guy mm -hmm. Eric, actually, well, it's Eric Trump. Yep. He shared a link. Yep. He didn't. He didn't watch. Click on the image. Okay, so he shared an image. He shared an image. He just simply posted an image. That's but if he, had, if he shared a link, then that yep. link would have pulled an image mm -hmm. as well yep so that image is what you kind of want to this card again <laughs> yeah see that's they posted an image but um yep. if anyone shares your link actually that's a, that's an example actually yeah that's an example right there perfect so yep. then look that's the link they shared they shared s m a r that smart url yep. that's the link so they shared that link, and when you share that link, that image pulls. They gotcha. set up that image intentionally. So if you go mm -hmm. and share your link, you want a pull image to show as well. So that's that <sighs> image. Well, it'd be a, um, would it be an image of myself. I, uh, no, it could be an or... image of the home. It could be, it could be, it could be an image of yourself for sure. Mm -hmm. but it could be an image of your logo. It could be an image of a home. Type in type in homes yeah. home home inspection. See if it if anything pulls up. Yep. Hit enter. There we go. So I guess you can use you know, stuff in there. Do, 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 do. Um. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Like that. Where did that go to? Let's see if I have any good pictures here, quick. Okay. A horizontal images. Horizontal. Well. Those are vertical images. Gotcha. Just if you have, yeah, a horizontal one. So that's the thing I got. And there's me. Oh, that, yeah, those are cool. I got uh, this this one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Where's a good one? I think that's what I want. I'll try that one. Even with you kneeling down there, that's a cool one too. Okay. Inside of the home. But yeah, you can always change it. I had a, a professional photographer come through a year or two ago to mm -hmm. just get some good shots of myself, get my good side. Yeah, I cool. Think, so. so go ahead and select that, click on the image, and then confirm. Perfect. And then in the, in the description, go ahead and write something in that page description at the top page meta description. Yeah. Go ahead and write like a little description of, of what you guys do. Cause that's going to yeah. show as well. So I, just like keywords, I think. Or no, not the keywords, just the description, like write something like whatever your slogan may be or, or whatever you guys specialize in, you know, specializing in, you know, something like that. Um, oh, it's mine. Maybe. Something like that would work. Perfect. That's kind of my uh, slogan on business card and Awesome. And such. Is there a space between the um of Wisconsin? Uh, Looks like it's. Yep, there's a space okay, there. Okay, cool. So yeah, scroll to the bottom, and then anytime you're in the settings like this, you'll always come to that down to the green one and click apply. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now, that's always a good habit to get into. And it's really the landing page. It's really just the landing page where you want to write something, you want to include an image. On every other page, so this is, this is the only landing page, on every other page, which will, be a, which will be the second page, the thank you page. So after they enter yeah. their name and email and they click submit now, they're going to a thank you page, which is the second page. That page, you don't, need to, you don't have to put an image because no one's sharing your thank you page on social media. Yeah, probably not. And, yeah, so that one doesn't need it. That one doesn't even need a description. Um, any future pages that maybe you'll put through an email or something like that doesn't need to be set up this way. It's really just landing page. However, every page you do want to give a title. Mm -hmm. So if you scroll to the very top, that title, you want to make sure. So as you come into every single page from this day forward, always click settings, always double check that page title. Mm -hmm. that, that should always be, you know, something pertaining to the page. And in this case, your, your, your company name is perfect. Um, you could just put that on every, t every title if you want. Gotcha. Okay, so we're good that we're good we're good there now x out of that and again with with pages all you'll ever really focus on is settings which is changing the title adding an image if it is the landing page and then sections and components that's really it um if you click on sections it'll just give you a drop down of everything you can add a header menu um, hero section, like hit, click, click any of them. So it just gives you all these different sections and all you got to do is click drag and drop. So if you, that, that's why what we're doing is we're just building it out with all the templates to help us. Gotcha. So, um, so that's the block templates. If you scroll down, there's just a ton of different blocks, a ton of different templates that you could just click on and just drag over and start to build out a page. And so many that I've already seen from other visiting other sites and such, you see kind of countdown things. And... Yeah. Yeah. So <sighs> this is just, this is just, this is if you really want to get, you know, detailed with it, but the way we have it now is perfect. Um, so hit the back button on the block templates, hit the back and then, um, just click on, click on, click on header menus. Like just click on a, f on a few different ones. That way you could just see, you know, what it is. So again, when you're building out a website, gotcha. either just the templates, click it, drag it over. Well, I drag mm -hmm. one over for, for just, you know, just practice sake and then drop here. So you'll drop it right there. And then now you have the top of a website. Nice. So what you'll do is you'll just hover over each one so if you, um, and, and it's really just, so X out of that, the blog templates, yeah, X out of that. And then um, you'll, you'll see if you just hover over anything, you'll see the yellow, that orange. So that's when you'll click the pencil you'll, or, or the X to delete it. But if you hit the pencil, mm -hmm. then it's just going to allow you to either change the text. So if we don't want to call it home, if you click on, you, first of all, you could change the color as well, but click yeah. on um, the text so we can name it something different. If it's not home, let's name it something different. And then the yeah. link, if you click on link, that's where you would link it to something. So if you, so mm -hmm. if people click on home, then they can go to a different page. So that's where we, you would click on link to another Karcher page and it'll simply link to a different page. Mm -hmm. So that's when you really go in and start building out a page. But again, the basic image, this is what we have now, the gray area is all you're going to need. So to delete this top part, all you're going to do is X out of that. And then what you can do is you can hit that red wheel. There you go. And just X out. And that will delete the whole, the whole top yeah. part. So this is like a, a very advanced paint. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can look at it that way. But it looks like it's easier to use though. Yeah. So the image, you can change out that image, obviously. You can change out the color of that background. So that dark gray. Mm -hmm. If you if you hit the red um and then go to the pencil, the edit, this is where you'll see and and, and as you open up the pencil, you'll see where everything is laid out. So for example, the color is that color right there, the background color. So if you click on that, the background color to the left, 
right there, that's where you could change the color. So if you wanna go mm -hmm. with a different color in the background, you can just move that over um, and just choose, there's your red, perfect. You can um, apply. Makes sense more pink than anything, but yeah, that's more of a pink. <laughs> so you can you can change the very there's you know you can slide it over, drag it, and turn it yeah change it to more of a red. You may have to keep keep playing with it. What is that? Pending. Apply. Assets in this page. Yeah, so Something. let's change that color. Let's let's make it a little darker. Bring it, bring it down a little bit more. Let's go back over here. Actually, that's more of a black. But yeah, you could play around with that. Fancy. It looks like a kind of fun thing to play around with. Yeah, for sure. And then um, the pattern. There's that pattern different ones you'll always click the green one to you know apply um, dots so and then and then also if you click on background right there at the top click on background that background's an actual image so not only are you changing the color but you can change the actual background image it's actually an image so if you click on image selected it will show you that's the image that they currently have, which is that little pattern. Yep. So you can always watch for the hell of it. Just choose the other one and click confirm the green one and then apply. Hey, look at that. And there's your, there's their background. And then, and then the, um, the image op opacity, you can um, play around with that 20%. You can play around with that image blur that 0%. Mm -hmm. And let's see um, what it does to it. Cool. There you go. And that image blur, yeah, zero zero percent is is where you want to be. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so the image blur is fine. Um, I think it looks good at fifty percent. Mm -hmm. But you could you could for sure keep playing around with it. But that's 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 as simple as it gets, man. And then and then if you just hover over any of the of the bullet points, like the check marks there. So just click apply there, and then let's get out of this one, the configuration. Applying. You can go ahead and X out of this one. So if you just hover over the paragraphs or even the title, the headline, that's where you can change everything. So you just hit the text, the T, and then now you can you can reword that and just and just name it whatever you want or you know give it a few bullet points make it yeah. whatever we want yeah jumped over the moon the cow jumped over the moon <laughs> <laughs> perfect so that's 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 our landing page so scroll to the very bottom and then down there you got the about us contact us privacy yeah. policy so what you'll want to do is, is um, if you have any of those pages, you can just link it. You mm -hmm. can just link it to any of those. Like the About Us, I would, I mean, if you don't have an About Us, actually you have a website. So if anything, yep. you can always link it to your website. Yep, could do that, yeah. You know, you can do that. The About Us, you can link it to your Facebook page. Yep. Um, There's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, and then... Um, the actual face the um social media icons you can you can just hover oh, yeah. over each one and just link it to your page see right there oh, you're yeah. you're hover yeah there you go you gotta yep. click in there you go and then just hit the pencil and then um it'll be link and then you'll link it so anytime you're linking something outside of Kartra it'll be um link to an external URL. Mm -hmm. So for example, the privacy policy, the terms of use, if you actually have one on your website, then, yep. then you can hover over it, click on link, and then just link it to an external URL and then scroll to the bottom and then, and then put, paste in your website at the bottom. Yep. And then anytime I do do that, anytime I link it to an external URL, I always uh, check that circle at the bottom, open in new tab. 
I always, I always do that open in new tab. Because if you don't do it that way, then yep. they'll click on privacy policy and they're on your new page and they left this page. Yep. So you want to open it in a new tab so they at least they still have this page open. Mm -hmm. So this right here is all preference, you know, the colors, all that stuff. But mm -hmm. that's a simple yeah. page, man. If you keep it that simple, you're going to crush it. Like keep it that simple. So here's what we got to do. We got to... um. Play around with this. Go ahead and give it a headline later on. Give it some bullet points. Change out that that chick. You know, put a put a cool image of yourself yeah. or anything or, or something. You know, mm -hmm. and then and then anytime. At what I do every few minutes, like every maybe five minutes, every ten minutes, I'll go to the top right, click on the actions, and I'll always save progress. Like I'll always do that because we've already, mm -hmm. you know, made some changes. I'd hate for your computer to take a shit and all of a sudden we lost everything, <laughs> you know, so save progress, yep. try to do that often, save progress. And then yep. what we'll do is we will publish live. So this is how you exit a page. So you save progress. It's actually a three-step exit. Save progress. That's step one. X out of that. And then we're going to publish live. Is. We'll publish live. Click the actions again, the green button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Publish live. And then you're going to go back, click the green one again, and you're going to return a dashboard. And then also right here real quick, click on get the page link. So by default, your link will be like that humbleinspections.carch.com forward slash page. What you can do is you can always edit the back end part. So if you click the pencil, you can always customize that back end part. Now, once you do add a domain, then you'll be able to hit that drop down and you'll see your domain down there. Mm -hmm. And then you can just choose your domain and then you can just customize the back end part. So that A U T one or whatever that is, just yep. go ahead and get rid of that and, and just name it something free download or something like that. Yeah. Free download is fine. I guess I have to, and you can always change that. So let's check the box or make, yeah, hit the check, check mark. So here's what I'm, here's what I was saying. Copy that. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for Facebook to update. But let's let's see if 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 it pulls anything now. So let's copy that entire link. Mm. There we go. Oh, wait, almost there. Nope. There we go. Okay. Now bring it over to Facebook. Don't you don't gotta fully post it, but let's just act like we are. Go to mm -hmm. Facebook and, and put it up there at the top. Yeah, just go ahead and paste it in as if you were gonna post it. And this is what I was referring to as far as the image. Let's see if it shows. Fetching preview. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Go to, go to, open up a new tab. And you're going to Google, go to Google. Yeah, go ahead and type in right there in the middle. Go to the search bar. Yeah, right there. Facebook debugger. D-E-B-U-G-G-R. There you go. Facebook debugger. Go to there and then click on that first one, sharing debugger. Yeah, there you go and then paste in your link right here at the top. Go ahead and paste it in right there, and then click on debug, the blue button. This, this just allows Facebook to read the link. There we go, now we're good. Okay, so now, now go back to Facebook and just um, refresh Facebook and just do it again. X out of that, leave, yeah, perfect. Just, um, yeah, X out of that, let's start X. from the beginning. Let's refresh. Yeah, let's refresh. Reload. Reload perfect so go ahead and paste that link in again and now let's take a look at it okay hit enter there it might be going finally there it goes okay perfect see so the image pulled and then also what you wrote Humble mm -hmm. home inspection serving the great state of Wisconsin. So oh, that's your just so that's what it looks like on Facebook. That's what it would look like on LinkedIn. Yep. That's what it would look like on Twitter. So again, it's really just the landing page. You know, that's the only page you'll ever really share mm -hmm. on, on social media. So that looks good, man.
Uh, that's pretty wild and interesting. Yeah. So cool. So that's the landing page. So let's go back to Kartra and um, let's see where was I? Let's. No. Um, I was here. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So so in the future, and it's not really. I mean, it's not fully necessary, but in the future, if you do get a separate domain, you can always integrate it with Kartra, and then now your all your pages will be under that new domain. But for now, you can just use the Kartra link. That right there is perfectly fine. Sweet. So um, go ahead and click close. So that's what we did. We we hit the green button actions. We save progress. We publish live, mm -hmm. and now we're going to return to dashboard. So that's the landing page. But as you notice right there, it says placeholder. So what we have to do, go to an exit. What we have to do is that that's where the form goes. So we're going to create, we're going to create the thank you page and then we'll create a form. So now let's click the green one again. And, and what we'll do here is on this call, we'll focus on the landing page and the thank you page, and then we'll put our pixel on both of them. Okay. So now click on thank you pages to the left. And now we have a few different templates that we can choose from. And, and what I always want to do also is, is make sure that it could be any template, but I want to match the colors. So I want that, you know, mm -hmm. that landing page color, the first one to look like to, to match this one. So, yep. you know, yes, so like that. Yeah, that could be perfect. So, and and here's here's the idea on the thank you page. Here's what I would do if I were you, um, and and this is a perfect example right here. Right there needs to be a video of you. So on that video, here's what I want you to jot down. Do you have a Do you have anything to write with? Yeah, pardon me. Yeah. This I is, got paper right in front of me. Yeah, this is super super important, super powerful. As they go to your landing page, they enter their name and email. They come here. This is going to be a simple 60 second video that you can shoot on your phone. And here are the four bullet points, the four points you want to touch on. Number one, you're obviously thanking them, thanking them for downloading their home inspection guide. In this guide, you're going to learn blah, 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 right? That's number one. So you're thanking mm -hmm. them. You're telling them what to expect in the home inspection guide. That's number one. And then number two, you're introducing yourself. Just a little background on you guys. Humble Home Inspections. We've been in the Wisconsin area for the last X amount of years. We're, we're, we're super excited and passionate about what we do. We, we love serving people, blah, blah, blah. So number two is just an intro of you, an intro of your company and, and what you guys, you know, specialize in. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a seven second, you know, number two. Mm -hmm. And then number three, you're telling them to check their email. I check your email. I just sent you over your home inspection guide. You're going to be able to download your PDF right away. So make sure you check your email and also make sure you check your email for future emails. I have coming your way. I have a lot of great tips and tricks and, and strategies that I got coming to your, your inbox. So make sure you check my future emails. You're not going to want to miss any of them. So number three, I'm just telling you to check your email because I just sent you the guide, the PDF, but then also make sure you check your emails because I have a ton of more great you know, information coming your way. That's number three, check your emails. Um, and then number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. So that's when I'm trying to go in for the, for the, um, for the real, you know, call to action is to, mm -hmm. is to, is to, is to click the yellow button. If you guys want to jump on a call now, if you need help now, if you have any questions now, feel free to click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So that's number four. Mm -hmm. Number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call by clicking the button below. Okay. Makes so sense. No, number one, thank you. Number two, introducing yourself. Number three, check your emails. And number four, schedule a call. That could be all done in a, in a short 60 second video. Yep. So, so as I was mentioning earlier to the, um, to the left, my videos, that's a video that you'll be able to upload to Kartra and then you'll just park that video on this page. Gotcha. Okay. However, if you're recording it, if you're recording on your cell phone, then you'll have to transfer the video to a computer and then upload it to Kartra. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, so that's, that's that page. We could change out the background color. We can change out the yellow. We can change out all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We can delete, you know, so, 
there's this template, there's many other templates. It's kind of whatever, whatever, whatever you want. floats your boat, whatever floats your boat, Dave. Yep. So X out of that one, the red one. And then, um, if you want to, you know, get that one, you can always hit select, but if there's any other one, you know, grab a different one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think a video one would be a good one to have. Yeah, there's that Look. video one. That looks good. Yeah. One single button. Once they click on that button, we can change that blue, change it to red. Mm -hmm. Once they click on that button, it takes them straight to your calendar where you, where they could schedule a call. Sweet. Yeah. So that's a cool one. You can you can go with that one. Let's so go click right there. And where was I? Right here. Okay. Yeah. Select and then up at the top, launch builder. Perfect. And then we'll give this one. And here's here's a good habit to get into as well. As you start to title these pages, if it's in the same category, try to try to try to try to describe them or try to maybe abbreviate them the same. Like the first one you named landing page. Yep. This one might be might be it, I mean you can name it thank you page because that's what it is. It's a thank you page. But at the same time, I kind of what I'm saying is I kind of I just want to be more specific, but, but that's only when you start to build a ton of pages, this stuff is important, but mm -hmm. for now, just stick with that and, and thank you page. That's fine. But as long as you put it in the same category, it'll make things easier. So inspection mm -hmm. guide, yeah, throw it in that category. That way we can start really categorizing everything as you build out more pages. Cool. Okay. So create. Okay, awesome. So again, as we come into a new page, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on settings to the left and um, I'm going to, I'm going to change the title of that tab. Yeah, I, gotta go. I have someone teaching me how to do this stuff. I don't need your <laughs> you guys have earthquakes over there, so I don't want earthquakes. Yeah. And it's, it's actually, I mean, knock on wood. I mean, I don't knock know what is right. <laughs> but it, it doesn't happen often at all, but, um, but yeah, it's, it, that's what one thing you got to definitely worry about. I'm sure sooner, sooner or later, there's going to be a big one again over somewhere over there. Yeah. It's going to uh, cause some destruction, but hopefully not anytime soon. Yeah. This world is getting a little weirder by the day, Dave. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah. We're trying to make it better though. Right. Yeah. I hear you on that one. So click on settings to the left. Oh yes, settings. So we'll come in, click settings, and then SEO parameters, and then there's that title. So it can always be thank you. It could be schedule your call today. Like I want some type of call to action there. Um, it could easily be thank you, but yeah, you could put thank you. You could put schedule your call today or whatever. Thank you's fine. Yeah. And then the description, oh, yeah. the image, none of that's needed. Gotcha. Yes, so right. Just go to the very bottom and then click on the green one. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now what we have to do is we have to set up the calendar, but we'll do that on our, on our next call. This is, this was super important just so we can get the pages up and yep. then we can add our pixel. Mm -hmm. And that's what we'll kind of focus on here. So let's, um, so now that we have this up, you can always come in, change out the colors yep. and all that stuff. Um, and here's what I want you to understand what, what I want you to see as well. Hover over, like for example, hover over X out of the SEO parameters, hover over um, the button, start download now, just hover over it oh, yep. and then um, click on the pencil. So let's, let's see where that pencil is at. Oh, there. where are you? There you are. Okay. There you go. Click on that. So here's, here's how you want to kind of match your, your colors. There's the color right there, that color code, the background yep. color. So if you click on that, that color, there's the code. Yep. What, what, what I would do is I would, I would, whatever color you're going to go with, copy mm -hmm. that code. And then, yeah. and then actually what you can do, watch, for example, turn, let's find a red, let's find it. Let's find an actual real, a real good red that you'll be able to use. Like, let's just, just so we can save it. So let's see what that looks like. So I think I saw something about an eyedropper or something like that. I can yeah. Color that. pick eyedropper that that's to match everything. But this, if we can find our color here, then, then we can just do it here. Yep. But if you have a specific red that we can't find here, yeah, then I like that one. 
Perfect. Okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna do. So click on the 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 circle again, the background color, and let's save this color. So go ahead and and click on my palettes. Yep. Click on yeah, create palette. Yeah, red and white are kind of my primary colors. And and go ahead and give it a name right there, my red or something like that. Uh, red. That works. Perfect. Save. Yeah, I like it's popping. Yeah, it pops. It does. I like that. Perfect. So now as you go in and you, and you, um, and you change what I want to do, I want to make sure we, we, we match this red with the same button on the yeah. landing page. Yep. That makes sense. Right. So, so as you go back to the landing page and you hover over that button, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see my red Yep. and you'll just match it. You'll just click on that and it, boom, it's the same exact color code. This site's pretty wicked. Awesome. Like it, it's yeah, able man. to it's, do it's all really this stuff. Cool. It's really, really cool. And again, you can get, you can get super crazy with it, but but as long as we can just build you know these simple landing pages to capture leads, that's what we want yep. to do. You know, so 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 that's good for now. Let's hit the green button, actions, save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. And then what we have to do real quick is we have to set up. We'll set up one more thing Push inside lives. of here, just so the page is complete. So um, get the page link, go ahead and, and click on that and then just name, hit the, the pencil and then just, I always, I always customize that back end part. You know, like I'll, I'll, I'll put thank you for downloading or um, yeah, thank you for downloading. And the check mark, perfect. Okay, cool. So that's that. Okay, so we'll hit close and then we'll hit the green button again and then return a dashboard. Perfect. So now we have a landing page. We have a thank you page. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to set up the form. You know what? Let's open up that landing page really quick. Go back to the, go to the dots. Click the three dots. Okay. No, no. In the right, fine, there yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Click on edit. And let's just, um, actually, you know what? Let's create the form first because we're not going to be able to do that until we create the form. Let's create the form. So let's go to my forms because I was going to show you how to change that yellow to the red. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So this is the form. So let's click on the green one. Oh. And as someone goes to your landing page, go ahead and name it, um, name it, name it your whatever, name it. This is the form going to the landing page. So. I don't know, landing page form or that work. As someone goes to your landing page, normally it's just a name and email that someone's asking for. You can get as detailed as, as you want. Like you can ask for a ton of information, but when you're running ads, I would for sure only ask for a name and email. But if mm -hmm. you wanted to go new field, click on new field, if you wanted to get detailed with it and ask them their address, ask them the type of home, like you can, you can really ask for whatever you want. Like, but I just know from experience and just from learning this stuff, just from knowing this stuff, the more information you ask for, the less leads you're going to get. Yep. Yeah. Especially if you type, especially if you type that in. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, dang, who's going to give up that, right? Yeah, somebody so, would. <laughs> yeah, somebody would. Yeah, so you want to kind of just keep a name and email. Um, yeah, I agree because no one's going to give anything more than that. Yeah, and and where we really want to get people to engage and get people to schedule calls is through your emails. Mm -hmm. So as they come here and enter their name and email, they they get that inspection guide email to them right away. The email oh. autoresponder. That's where we want to really build the relationship. Hey Dave, this is John. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you downloaded my inspection guide. Hey, did you take a look at page three? Here's what I was talking about. You know, and those are just a series of emails that would go out. And hey, by the way, Dave, if you'd like to jump on a call now or maybe possibly schedule your next home inspection, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So in your email automation, those are the types of conversations. Those are the type of emails you want to put together. Mm -hmm. friendly sounds like it's coming from my buddy and just and just getting me to schedule a call yep so as you fill the pipeline as you continue to run traffic run ads to your local area 
you're going to fill up this email autoresponder. And so if you can have a, a, a good amount of emails going out every day, getting people to schedule a call, a small percentage will. And if that small percentage is an extra one to two appointments a day, that changes everything. Yep. So that's why I always tell people, this is the most important part is your back end. And when it's all said and done, you don't need that many people. You know, it's like, if, yep. just if you were scheduling a call, it would completely change your business. You know, that's why, like I tell real estate agents all the time, if you just had one damn deal extra per month from all of this stuff that I'm teaching you, it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, in your case, if you had one extra appointment a day from everything we're doing, it'd be worth it. You know, so oh, yeah. it's all about just setting this up the right way and then just, just filling up the funnel on the front end, which is by running ads, you know? So let's click next. This is what we'll ask for is just name and email. That's fine. So we'll click the green button, save, and then you can click save and next. And then the confirmation, single opt-in. That's all we need is single opt-in. Click save. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then save and next. Actually, here we go. And then we'll need the success page. So the success page is the thank you page. Mm -hmm. So click the drop down external URL and you're going to click on Karcher pages. Um, there we go. And then select site will be um, no site. And then the Karcher page will be your thank you page. Thank you page. And then save. Perfect. So whenever anyone fills out the form, they're going to the, to the thank you page right after. Okay. So save and next. And then send a welcome message. We won't do it here. We'll do it in my communications, but this is the first email. So the moment they opt in, they're instantly going to get an email right away with a link to download their free PDF. Mm -hmm. Now this is one place you can put it, but I don't do it here. I do it in my communications, which I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you next, but we'll just hit save and next. So we won't send it from here. Save and next. Now the automations. So this is where we'll add them to a list. So the moment they lock, the moment they opt in, go ahead and um, click on change for subscribe to list. Subscribe to list change. And then yes, subscribe to a list. And what we'll do is we'll create a list. So go ahead and create a new create new list. So everyone who opts in is going on to this specific list. So you can name it. Um, um, home inspection guide leads. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Perfect. And then the public description, you could put something like, thank you for downloading my home inspection guide. That's what the, that's what they'll see if they ever go to unsubscribe. It's just kind of a little reminder of what list they're on that, th that they end up seeing. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Perfect. They don't see the name of the list. They just see, Yep. The, um, the bottom part. So click on add. Actually, they may see the name of the list, but it's okay. Click on add and then save the green one. Okay, perfect. So the moment they opt in, they're going to that list. And then the sequence, we won't set it up here. We'll set it up under my communications. So just click on save and next. And then save. You can click, leave it, leave it as is there. Just click save and then save and next. And we're done. So that's the form. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that form on the landing page. So let's go to my pages. And this will give us a chance to now change that yellow to the red. So let's click on the three dots. Click on edit. And then we'll go ahead and open it up. Click on edit. Perfect. So this is where we'll add the form and change, change the, the yellow to red. Loading, loading. There's not that much on there. They just take like an hour to <laughs> yeah. open up an email. So hover over placeholder, and then you'll see the little pencil pop up. There you go. Actually, All right, so, oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you are. There you Perfect. Click on the pencil. pencil. And then that's going to open up um, the form. So select, hit the drop down, and then you'll see your form. There's your form. Perfect. Apply. 
Okay. What's this assets in this page blinking thing? Keeps, it keep popping up. Yeah, that's just gonna. It's just telling you what what's all in the page. That's fine. So, okay. um, where did the form go? Oops, I closed it out. Click I undo. See if you can click undo in the top right. Is that the ice cream truck coming through? Can you hear that? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Hover over it again. Let's see where it went. Okay, so select form, landing page, click apply. That's weird. Where the heck is it at? It's supposed to pop up somewhere. Well, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be right there. Click on, um, click on button. Uh, which button? Um, right there, the top button. The button. Yeah, click on that. Submit now. Click apply. Huh, that's weird. Hit save progress at the top. The actions go save, save progress, and then publish live. Let's just um, save progress, and then um, X out publish live, and then grab grab the link real quick, and let's just open it up in a new tab. Okay, page link. Yeah, copy that and just open it in a new oh, tab. Um, there you go. Copy. Mm, new tab. Paste. Go. Oh, I think we broke it. That's so weird. Where the hell is that format? Uh, okay, go back to Kartra. It may be okay. Hit um hit the hit close. Let's try moving down. Hover over the um the bottom the footer, the the bottom part the gray. Yeah, actually to the very right the red. Click on that red thing to the very right. Yeah, click on that. Click on edit. And let's see if we can move this down. So that bar, that circle, that turquoise. Yeah, drag that to the right, all the way to the right, and then click apply. So that's gonna drop it. Actually, that just dropped it there. Hit the um, hit the twenty, the twenty px. Click on that and then drag that one over. Let's see if that drops it. Drag that that dot. Oh, dots. yeah. Drag that to the right. Come on. Okay. Click apply. Okay. So that's just that's just making that part wider. Let's hit, the, yeah, right there, the pencil. Hit that pencil. Um, hover over, yeah, that one at that. Hit that pencil right there. Let's see if we can move that up. So let's move this up. I mean, it might be hiding right below. So that top one, drag that to the right. Let's see if it's to the right. We'll have to play around with it, but drag it to the right. Click apply. See if it moves it up. Okay, drag the other one. That one right there, drag that one. Click apply. Okay, so that's just moving that top part. Dang it, where's the stupid format? Huh. Okay, so then click the yeah, let's X out of this real quick. Yeah, X out of that. And then um let's let's well, get go. <laughs> Let's um we may have to just add add a form. So click on click on um let's click on components to the left. And then let's see if we can just add one. But it's part of that, it's part of that box. So I don't think we can add one. Because it's, it's already there, but for some reason it's not it's not showing. Click on um click on sections to the left. Let's see if it's if we can find one under sections. Um, Opt-in forms. Click on that. So if anything, what we can do is um, let's let's go ahead and click that top one. Yeah, and dr click it and drag it over. Drag it to the top. Can you? Yeah, drop here. 
Okay, so if anything, let's let's delete right there. That red to the right, delete that. So if we gotta just create a new one, we'll just yeah, delete that. Delete. And then um, let's see, scroll to the very top. As high as it goes. As high as it goes. We're at, what happened to the other um, one we dragged? I think we de deleted that one. Did we delete that one? Let's see. Do it again. Drag, drag, drag it over and drop it. Yeah, drop here. Yeah, at the, the top. Okay, so scroll down and let's get rid of that one right there, that red one. This one? Yeah. Oh, come on. There you go. Bye bye. Yeah, let's delete this block. Perfect. Okay, so let's see if we can just work with this one. So hover over the placeholder. Yeah, hover over that, click the pencil. And then let's hit the form here. Apply. There we go. That was weird. So I, I didn't do that last time. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's X out of this one, the configuration, and then to the left, let's click on let's click on, I think it might be it might be components. It's really just sections and components. Those are the two that we'll we'll be in and out of. So in this case, to to add those those um, like those bullet points, mm -hmm. let's try list. Scroll down. Let's see if we can go under list. See what that brings up. Okay, so there it might have been that one. So let's let's click that, drag it, and put it right above your name, David. See if you can drop it right there. So right where it's yellow, drag it till it turns green. Hover over the yellow, right there. Perfect. Right when it hits green, drop it. So whenever it's green, that's when that's when you'll drop. Did they go there? Let's see. Try it again. Why not like me? I don't know. No, oh, come on. So I can go green. There we go. Okay. So if anything, you can just delete. Just delete the paragraph. Leave the leave the headline, but yeah, just click again, click into it. It, it might it should yeah, there you go. Delete that. Exit. Exit out. X. Yeah. X. Okay, I X see. out. Click into it again. X. Perfect. Oops. Actually. Wrong button. <laughs> so what you can do is just clone it. So hover over, hover over the check mark, go. hover over. You can undo it, but you could you could also clone it. Clone it. X out of that. Okay. So if you hover over cross browser supported actually no it won't it won't let you clone it but you could have cloned the the paragraph but that's fine okay so if anything and you can always change that check mark you can change those icons mm -hmm. you can hover over the the text and change the color so if you yeah if you hit the t Come here. you could change that color you know to to white for example Nice. But I think you might have to highlight it. Is that the color? That's background color. Yeah, so bottom right, I think, is white. Yeah, there you go. And then those those check marks, if you hover over the check mark, hit the edit, and you can change the size of that. So that might be, a, it looks a little big. But if you hit the icon size, you can change large to small, or you can even go with a different one, like medium, small, tiny. And medium works, I guess. Yeah, medium works. <sighs> Perfect. So in this case, what we'll do is hit the, um, the right, that, that red wheel, and let's add back your picture, the background image. Hit the pencil. Pencil. And let's um, let's change out the background, and then go to image selected, and then let's 
grab your picture again. There you go. Confirm and then apply the green one. There we go. And then maybe change the image opacity. Awesome. Cool. And then hover over um, the form. So submit now, hover over that. Yeah, hit the pencil right there. And then what we'll do is we can change that yellow. So if you go to um, button, there's the color. So go ahead and click on that and then you'll be able to choose my red. So like your background color, yeah. Okay, there's, there's my red, choose that. Hit apply. Actually, I think you gotta choose it again. Let's do it again. So there's my red, there's my red. Um, huh, where's that red at? Should be right there. No. Oh, that's what we didn't do. We didn't, we didn't hit the plus sign. So we named it. We just didn't add yeah. the red. Gotcha, gotcha. So do it again here, if anything. Yeah, just. Uh, where was I? Or something like that. So yeah, click the, um, click the apply. Hit the green one. See if that's even the right red. Yeah, I, that's pretty similar. And then the, the color of the text, you can change that as well. Can you this one? I think it is. There's white. If anything, it might be in the top left corner. Yeah, if you drag it, there you go. That might be it. That's better. Awesome. And the same thing with the check marks, you can change that to the to the red. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff you could play around with. Change that to what was it, medium? But yeah, yeah. you can choose your red. Go to medium. Choose that red. Perfect and then apply. Cool. Nice. So that's a little bit of playing around it looks like. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's that. So once you've finished linking everything, changing the colors, everything mm -hmm. else is fine. So let's, um, so now what we gotta do is let's, so now that we have the form, let's hit the, let's save progress. And then you could just come back to it and play around with it. Yep. Save progress and then publish live and then return a dashboard. So now we have a landing page. We have the thank you page. We have the form. And then now what we're going to do, the calendar is super important as well. Actually, you know what? We do need one more page. We do need one more page. Hit close. So let's, let's uh, return a dashboard. We do, we do want to set up one more page. Um, and this is the thank you for scheduling page. So as people go and schedule a call on your calendar, which you'll have to set up the calendar, we'll have to do that part too. But um, when they go and schedule a call, they go to a confirmation page. So let's set that one up real quick. And that could be under a thank you page. So hit the green one, bottom right. And then um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to a thank you page. Let's just, yeah, thank you page is what we'll, we'll find. And we could just grab anything for now. Um, go with that one. Yeah, that one's okay. fine. Perfect. So launch builder and then um, page name. Thank you for scheduling. Perfect. And then it doesn't have to be in a category because this is this will be general for anything and everything i would mm -hmm. start using this calendar for everything if i were you like i use my calendar for everything my cartridge calendar yep. so um i don't put it in a category that's fine and then select site no site and then just um and then and then create so category select category just put it in no no category perfect okay cool 
So the reason why this page is so, so important is because as we dive into Facebook ads, this is the page that Facebook needs to track as well because we wanna set up a custom audience of everyone who lands on this page also. So this is where our pixel will go as well. So we're gonna put our pixel on all these pages. Um, so so um, hover, over, hover over that pink. Let's change out that color real quick. There's the, the, yeah, the red to the right. Click on that and then edit. And then let's just change out that pink. Maybe let's match it with your red. Actually, it'd be it'd be style. Go to style. Yeah, it'd be the color right there. Gotcha. Okay. And then just look for your red. Perfect. Apply. Perfect. So, so as you just start to build out these pages, just matching the colors is so mm -hmm. important. You know, so your logo, you you know, can go at the top, and then right there at the bottom, you know, number one, number two, number three, you know, check your email inbox, open our email, click the download link. So a lot of it's already there for you, you know, and then I just mm -hmm. type my social media icons, put your copyrights at the bottom. Um, but but as as we put our pixel on this page, and then also the, the settings. So click on the top left, the settings. Let's change the title of the tab. Or you can leave it, um, but let's, let's just check it just in case. Thank you for scheduling. That's fine. Thank you for scheduling. Um, and then no images needed. So yeah, so as, as we put our pixel on this page, we wanna be able to, to start letting Facebook know about the people who are landing here. Mm -hmm. Because people who land here are all in a Facebook custom audience. And as we go and run future Facebook ads, we wanna be able to exclude all of these people. Yep. So we don't need to continue to show ads to people who already downloaded your PDF. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to keep showing ads to people who already scheduled appointments. Gotcha, Those gotcha. are people that need to be excluded from future ads. And so that's why this page, this standalone page is so important. So let's hit um, at the top. You can always come in here and, and reword everything, but let's go to the green button in the top right. Let's save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Same. Okay, perfect. So now what we'll do, go ahead and refresh this page real quick. Let's see if that page publishes. Let's refresh this. Perfect. Okay, so, so as we start to build stuff out, matching all the colors is super important because mm -hmm. you know as we look at it right there it already looks tacky you know every color is different right so yep. you want to try to stay stay consistent with the colors super basic and super important so these are these are our three main pages like this is what all it takes is your landing page your thank you page and your thank you for scheduling page so now mm. we have all those up what you'll want to do is yeah try to jump on any tuesday and thursday calls if you can't just watch then 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 you know for sure watch the replay because you'll learn a lot, but I want you to schedule as many calls as you need because I want to really help you be successful with this, with this software. So I want you to really crush it. So I'm always going to be available for you, but come in here, play around with it. Next thing you'll want to play around with is my calendars. Um, play around with that. Set up your calendar when you have a minute. Um, it's just simple step walkthrough. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. like it's like a seven step walkthrough, just like my phone, my forms was. Yeah. The calendar is very similar. You're just going step by step, setting up your calendar. But um, what we'll do now is let's set up the pixel. Let's install the pixel on all these pages so Facebook can start tracking everything. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the ads manager. We're going to go to, actually, you know what? Let's look at your folder. Let's look at your ads manager folder. Click on that. But but op leave this tab open, the Kartra one. So just open up a new tab. Yep. Yeah, open up a new tab. and Which But not one? from here. I want Not not from here. Don't click on that. Oh, one. gotcha. Because yeah, yeah, then you'll lose Kartra. So yeah, open up a new tab. And then let's look at the folder. So what we're going to click on, we're going to go to pixel. Perfect. So let's grab this pixel and let's install it on all these pages. Well, I'm glad you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Just a ton of those calls I've been on and I've just been doing this for a while. So yeah, man, it's kind of second nature now. So what we'll do is we'll click on the um, we'll click on the blue one, continue pixel setup, and then install code manually. Perfect. So click the green one, copy code, and that's it. So X out of this, 
and let's go now to Kartra and let's go and, and let's go paste it into all of our pages. So go back to, you can X out of that one, X out of this one. There we go. And then go to the Kartra builder, X out of that one, X out of that one. Out of that one. Come on. Yeah, let's just close right. some of these. X out of that one. And then the Kartra weekly Q&A, you can get rid of the debugger, get rid of that one. All right, where are we? Okay, so let's go to the car trip builder. Go up. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now let's open up any one of them. So let's just go one at a time. We'll um, hit the three dots. Actually, we'll yeah, we'll click the three dots and then go to edit. Mm -hmm. So we have it copied. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to click on settings to the left. Come on. We can do it. Maybe. It's taking a sweet time. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to tracking code. Okay, perfect. And then all the way down, and we're going to paste it in right there at the bottom. Just simply click and paste. Perfect. And then apply. Well, that's some guru. And yeah. stuff right there. Yeah. So now we're good. So now click on the green button in the top left, or top right, excuse me, top right, and then save progress, publish live, return a dashboard. Okay, so we'll do the same thing for all of them, but let me, let's check something real quick. Let's make sure our pixel is on there. So click on the three dots on the thank you for scheduling and go ahead and um, get code and just copy, get the page link. And just copy that. Actually, you know what? Let's let's change that out. Yeah, let's edit. Let's hit. Yeah, let's let's name that. Um, this is uh, thank you for scheduling. Okay. So, what do you have the Facebook Pixel Helper on your computer? Mm. No. You don't okay. think you have that? Copy that. Copy that and just send it over to me in the in the in the chat. Just copy that link. Yeah, the full thing, and just send it over to me. Let me open it up on my end. Let's just send it to the, to me in the chat. Where is the chat? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Ah, it's up. Somewhere. Let me share my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen here. Do, 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 do. I got nothing yet. Can you see my screen? Nope. Come back to the, um, actually see if you could stop sharing. Stop sharing. I think I see, must be you over there. I yeah, I'm, I'm inside of my Kartra, but let me, um, let me show you what I'm saying here. Let me just, I forgot I even had this open. Let me just, I was working on a page earlier. And that's one thing you don't want to do is, is what I just did right here is I was working on a page mm -hmm. and I'm inside of the builder and I forgot about it. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to, you always want to save progress, publish live and get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it idle like this. Cause if I, I just a few hours ago, I made a ton of changes and I, and I'm still in the damn builder. Mm -hmm. Right, I could have X'd out and I would have lost everything. I'm glad I took a look at this right now because I needed to save this. Okay, so let me get out of here real quick. This is where I gotta get out. Okay, so now this Facebook Pixel Helper, this is a little plugin that you see right here in the top right. Mm -hmm. So if you Google that, that's a free little plugin that you can install, but it's only, I mean, the reason why I have it is so I can test my Kartra pages. So I can test the pixel to make sure the pixel is set up correctly. So that's what I always want to do. I always want to, I always want to check that. And that's what like, I like, like for example, real estate agents, like I'll always check that. Like I'll always have them. I'll always, like I'll have a real estate agent send me their page. I'll look at it and, and, and their pixel isn't on the page. And mm -hmm. that's the number one reason why their Facebook ads are not working. But this, this allows me to check who has a pixel and who doesn't. 
So for example, you just installed your pixel. So now if I click on it and I open up this page, this thing up here should light up. It's gray right now. There you go. And light up. That's how we know the pixel is installed correctly. So if I click on it, there's the pixel. Nice. So that Facebook pixel, actually, yeah, there's the name. So one pixel found on homeinspection.karcher.com. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that's the correct pixel. It ends in 6206. So now let's go over to, let me stop sharing, go ahead and share your, your, your page or your, your screen. Yep. Okay, so refresh this page here. And we should be good. Perfect. Okay, so 6206, was that what I said? Yep. Okay, 6206. Okay, so what you'll want to do, okay, so refresh it one more time. 6206. Let me go back to your page. Okay, let me open back. Let me go back to your page real quick. 6206 is the one that it ends in. 6206, okay, cool. So yeah, so it'll, it'll read it. Um, okay, so I just refreshed my page. Go ahead and refresh this page one more time. Okay, so it'll read it. It says no activity was received yet, but it'll give it a few minutes. It'll it'll receive it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the pixel. So now now what we'll have to do is just install that pixel on the other two pages, and and we're good. So let's close out that one. Yeah, go back to the other other two pages. So just click the three dots, and then just just paste in. Actually, you may have to go grab the pixel again. Yeah. So go back yeah. to the Facebook Ads Manager. Go ahead and um, go to um, oh let's let's click on all, let's click on add events to the bottom add events that drop down to the bottom left middle of the page oh, add events is. yeah click on that and then click on from a new website and then install code manually and then copy code okay perfect okay we're good so now let's let's go add it to the other pages you can hit continue. Actually, you know, turn that one on. Yeah, let's leave that one on. So hit continue. Okay, now we're good. So you can X out. Okay, perfect. So now let's just add it to the other two pages and we're good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's, okay, so now let's go back to the ads manager to okay. Facebook and then let's refresh this real quick and see if they're, if it's picking it up yet. Uh, yeah, so refresh this. Uh, this may take, take a moment. Two minutes. I see something. Perfect. Okay, good. So we're good. So now Facebook, now the pixel is 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 um is reading the page view. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. Okay, so we're good. So that right there, man, that's a whole that's a whole call right there, Dave. That's, that's a call, call and a half. Right, there, right? Like that's a ton. But this once yeah. we knock out this stuff one one time, then we're off to the races. But that's Sweet. the most important is putting the pixel on the pages. But <sighs> obviously it takes us some time to set up the damn pages. Oh yeah. It takes so a little time. What you'll want to do is is work on work on playing Up around with pages, uh, pages yeah you know what let's do this real quick do you have the pdf do you have your download yet or no i do i can show it to you and see if it's no any... what what i want you to do real quick is just um is just go to Kartra. go back to Kartra. let's just upload it real quick all right let me show you how to upload it uh, 
Oh god, are you silly? Thing. We can get rid of that one. Close that one out. You can close, you can close, you can close. Yeah, okay, so that. what we'll do is we'll tie the PDF to click on my memberships to the left. And then you're gonna upload it here. So click on my memberships, click on files at the top. Oh, okay, okay. And then you'll upload it here. So click on upload, the green one. Okay. Yeah. That's where your file goes. So the way this is gonna trigger is go ahead and um, yeah, upload file. So the moment someone goes to your landing page and opts in, they enter their name and email. That's what I have it. They're gonna receive an email right away with a link to download the PDF. So go ahead and click on next. And that will come over. And then the link is just, if you click on that little chain right there, that's where you copy, you get it, get the URL, click on that. And then you can copy that entire link. And we're gonna throw that into the email, but we'll do that, we'll do that on our, on our next call. Gotcha, gotcha. But at least you have it here. So go ahead and copy that whole entire link and just open it up in a new tab just to test it. Awesome. Perfect. Cool, man. So that would be that would be getting to them through an email. That would be email number one. And we'll we'll um we'll we'll go over our email automation on our next call. Gotcha, gotcha. So in the meantime, here's what you could work on. Work on just updating these pages. You know, matching the look, colors, writing out the text. Make it look um, pretty. Focus on focus on that part because over here we have our custom audiences. We have our custom actually you know what we didn't we didn't set up any custom audiences or custom conversions yet because we didn't have the page. So that's our next call. That's our next call is setting up the custom audiences. Um, we bookmarked everything, but yep. we didn't, we didn't, we didn't set it up yet. So that's going to be our next call. Now that we have the thank you page, now that we have the landing page, we need to tell fate. And, and, and now that our pixel is on them, mm -hmm. now we have to start labeling them. Now we have to let Facebook know, okay, everyone who lands on this landing page, that's a custom audience. Everyone yes. who lands on the thank you page, that's a custom audience. Everyone who lands on the scheduled on the thank you for scheduling page, that's a custom audience. So now that we have the pages, that's our next call is to set them all up through the ads manager so we can start tracking them and start including them mm -hmm. and excluding them from future ads. Sweet. Okay. So, but in the meantime, work on my calendar, work on my calendars there to the left and work on my pages. Gotcha, gotcha. And on, yeah, on our next call too, I'll, I'll, I'll help with my communications because that might be a little a little more, I mean, it's not challenging at, at, all, at, at, at all, but I wanna walk you through that for the first time. But we'll say that for our next call. Mm -hmm. So calendars, if you click on the green one, you can just um, choose from um, these few, consultant model, uh, mm -hmm. recurring model, gym model. You'll most likely go with the consultant one and just and just you'll click on create and you'll just go through it you'll gotcha. set up set up the, the time as you're setting up setting up the and you could just name this my calendar or whatever but you can always change everything but as you're yeah. setting up the time the scheduling it's in military time just yeah. on this part as your calendar goes live and they and people can schedule calls that's all in normal time that's actually in their yeah. time zone Gotcha. So, so it's only when you go in here and set it up, you'll see it in military time. Okay. And you could change out that image. You can add a logo. You can change all that stuff. So just play around with my calendar and then, and then also play around with my pages, get all the colors yep. matching. And then on our, on our next call, we'll focus back on the ads manager and set everything up through these pages on the ads manager. Cool. Cool. So set that up, set that next call up whenever you can. Cause I, mm -hmm. I think Saturday, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Yep. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's, it's, I think my schedule is either Saturday or, and, and Monday. So it's either Saturday and Monday. So try to schedule as soon as you can. All right. Yeah. I might be going out of, uh, out of town for the weekend, but. Okay. No worries. We'll, we'll, we'll make something work. So I, I Sounds think good. I'll probably be back. I think I'll be back Monday yet. So. Okay. No worries. Whenever you can. Now. 
And if, and if you, and if you have, you know, random time that you're available, just let me know and I'll make it happen. If it's not on my calendar, just let me know. I'll make it happen. All right. That cool. works. Right on, yeah, Dave. Yeah. Try to make the call too Thursday, man. Try to make the Karcher call because you'll okay. learn a ton from just jumping on these calls and just being a fly on the wall and just absorbing what everybody's, you know, asking. Yep. You'll learn a ton. I'll put that in my notes here. Thursday. Yeah, you'll get an email reminder as well. 3 p.m. Sweet. Excellent. Well, we learned uh, quite a few things here today. Yes, man. This is the most important. Landing pages, <laughs> Facebook ads, that's it. You know, those two things is all we need. I like it. Cool, Dave. Message me if you need anything, boss, and just schedule a time when you can. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate your time uh, tonight. And yes, sir, you're so welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon as well. Bye-bye.